Hey guys, I'm Kyle from 1UP Adventures. I'm Allie. And today we're actually going to show you the process of putting together a vertigo trike. <laughs> and slider right now. OSHA approves this message. Where would you like the package? This is a Vertigo Moster 185 dual stuff. You can actually get it with a Cosmos 300 and with a cool cockpit on it. And you can also get it with the dual start and you can put a, actually a rider on it. So you can get it without the external cage that comes on it, which is very, which is the exact same external hoop as the Zenit. You can actually put a rider paramotor on it, double hoop or single hoop. I would suggest the double hoop and use it like that. So this can actually be, it would function similar to a flash cruiser in that way. So now we got all the green wires cut and now we are going to just start removing all of the other cage pieces, battery, prop, extra things that come in the box. On the floor laid out nicely so we can account for everything. Now we'll just set it down nicely. But what this little back bar is for here, this kind of looks like, a, I don't know, it's a weird bar. But we actually remove this bar and you rotate it and it will sit up on this bar. So I'm gonna do that now. And now your paramotor will stay upright while you build it. The way while I'm at it. Actually, I'll go the other way. That'll be faster. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the axles on first. As it's all laid out, everything's ready to be lifted up, but we're gonna put the axles on first. So, with that being said, we're gonna come into here. And what we're actually gonna do with these is, these pins are horizontal, they need to be vertical. So we can rotate these vertical. As you can see, it just rotates on that bar in the middle. Okay. Rotate that again. Yeah. Rotate, simply goes outward until that pin is straight up and down. And then we're gonna take our rear axle, insert this pin here. And then we will take this piece and insert this into here. Oh, there we go. There we go, that one's in. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Rotate the axle out, just like we did on the other side. Try to get this pin straight up and down. And remember to always keep these pins on the pilot side. And what I mean by that is not facing backwards. Because imagine if this pin was the other way and it were to fall out, it would actually go into your propeller. These don't fall out, but if something were to happen, this would go back towards your propeller rather than not being able to fall out. Now we just have to get this last pin in here on the wheels and for the axles. Now once that's in, all we have to do is lift up the center mainframe. Sub. Now once we get to here, you just pull out this pin. And this can fall, so do not let go of the center frame. We are going to... Oh, I see, okay. So you might have to tip it just a little bit one way to get this to line up properly. Once it's lined up, straighten out this pole and put the pin in. Now we go to the other side. Okay. And then now we just lift up the center part of the trike Removing these two bolts that were up here, as you saw. And now we fold it together. We have to remove this bolt from here. And you can see there's a spacer on the other side. This spacer goes in between the top. So it will go something like this, with this metal bar being in the middle. For the moster. Oh, for the moster, correct. There. 
Now we just have to tighten these bolts here. So as you can see, this thing doesn't really move anywhere. It's because this kickstand that we initially had is still on. So please remember to, to remove this. Simply just lift up one wheel, pull both pins out, and it falls down. So this can also go here for if you want to keep this on here, if you decide to travel with it. But what this is also used for is a stinger system, which we will talk about later. Another cool aspect of this trike is that you can actually lengthen the the fork or the nose on it simply by these two bolts down here you would remove these two bolts and this slides you can see you have another set of holes here and you can slide this out and this bar will extend out for somebody who's a little bit taller yeah then we simply tighten these bolts on both sides I need help crocheting a sock. Oh, Outside yeah. net it's, and hoop it's section going. for the Zenit. Vertigo. All right. So this will be the um, spars. These are your side spars that go both on the left and the right for the Vertigo. So this box has lots of goodies in it. Should have your battery. And if it's not in the box, it'll be in the big box somewhere. You've got a Fly Products Toolkit, which should have any tools that you will need to work on your Vertigo. You have a bag here with your prop spacer, prop plate, prop bolts, belt tightener, things that you'll need for your motor, and your user manual for your motor. Now we're going to put together the cage of the Vertigo trike. So these are the lower spars left and right, and we're going to put these on now, and we'll go from there. So this goes behind the axle and then up through the top here. You might have to remove this lower pin first and kind of slide this into place so the top will match. Okay. Now once we get the top one in, we'll get the pin through. And this is a safety pin so that can't go anywhere. And we will do the same thing for this side. Front to back. Front to back. For putting this cage on, I like to start from the back because we need to keep the net in the front of this top spar. So, We'll start here, and I like to put the sides on first. Not all the way, just on there, so they're not gonna fall. Once we get it to here, I'll put the top spars on, or the top connectors here. Don't worry if they're not pinched all the way together just yet. That's what these Velcros are for that we'll put on a little later. The cage is taller than you. It is. Once we have the cage somewhat together, we're now going to undo these long Velcros that you see. And this long Velcro, these only go on one way. You can see it's really long. It has to go behind this little plastic buckle, around the white bar. So down, around, and then we're gonna go through our buckle here. And then we pull this tight. And don't be shy, snug it down. You're not going to break it. Pull really hard on it just to keep it all snug. So the Fly Products logos are on the outside. Now we have to do the same thing. There are six of these straps total around the cage. Two on each side and two on the top. Let's go. So in order to get the gas tank on, we just take the strap, it goes around the top bar, and then around the actual loop of the gas tank. Do not put it on this side of the fuel line. And then it goes around the center bar here just to keep it snug in one spot. We pull it up nice and tight. And you can actually adjust this to your liking in terms of where you want it. You can put it right there, for example. Pull it tight. So for the quick disconnects, that's exactly what they sound like. You simply just push them together. You can't mess them up. One is, one is female, one is male. 
That goes to that one. And then we go to the other side. This is actually the breather or the vent line. And you're good to go. For these straps here, these actually aren't structural. What these are actually for is because you have your line hangers up here and your lines are hanging up here. And if your lines were to fall down, they could actually go into your prop. So what these do, they simply go straight to here. That's it, that's all they require. But now your lines cannot go underneath of your cage and go into your prop. For your net, just make sure everything is straight all the way around it and make sure that this is not on the back side. You want everything on this side of the bars and especially on the middle bar. We just take this bungee, pull it up, click it in. And that is your tensioner for your net and we'll do the same thing on the other side. And just like any other prop that you're going to install, this is a carbon fiber two blade prop and make sure the logos are facing back or out. So with the size of the vertigo cage, you can actually accommodate a 140 centimeter prop on the Moster 185, which is what this is. And if you have it with a Cosmos 300, you can actually go up to a 150 centimeter propeller. So as you guys can see, there is this giant piece of Velcro that is actually on the top of the vertigo itself. And this actually connects to the back of the headrest. So you have two different kinds of Velcro, of course. And all we're gonna do is set this right into here and just roll this up and connect it all to the back. Now you can adjust this as needed based on your height. This can be put down further into here. So just base it on your height. And also you see the reserve bridle here. Make sure this is not tucked inside when you Velcro this on. So we're gonna move this out of our way, put this straight up and down, and we're going to Velcro this right on here. And then we'll tuck the remaining excess into the back pocket. For your extra pieces of the reserve, we are going to run this here and connect this appropriately. Now nothing is in our way and it keeps all of our reserve, extra reserve bridle nice and secure. Okay. Now once that is secure in your seat, one other thing that you're going to see is you have your A-assist. There is a zip tie here. This just keeps these sister clips from coming apart. So this is for whatever glider you're going to be using. You can attach this to the A, unless your glider is a trike specific glider and it already has ASS built into the risers. You can put these aside to use on another glider that you decide to use on this trike. So this is the reserve that comes on the Vertigo if you order it that way. And you can see that it's already got attachment points up here and down here, but we need to connect the rest of the reserve. And this should be a, it should be a 210, is it? Yep. Yeah. So this is a 210 kilogram reserve, and this is what comes stock on the Vertigo itself. And we have some connection points already in the front, but you can see that we're missing these two in the back. And these two in the back, one goes, you have a strap that's right back here. And we wanna make sure that we put this in the correct orientation behind this piece. We don't want this going in front of this piece and over it, it needs to go behind it. So we'll click this in here. That's nice and secure. And then we have one more right on the bottom that connects to the bottom of the cage and we'll connect that here. Now, if you wanna snug these up a little bit, we'll just pull this tight and we can pull these and snug this up here and we can do the same thing for the corresponding straps around the reserve. This reserve is already connected right here, but this is just an extra strap that comes with it. So if we need to ever replace one or you're gonna mount it on a different frame, that's what this strap is for. So we need to loosen this little Malian or Malian, however you prefer to pronounce it. We're gonna rotate it. And now we have our pull starter. Now this is a dual start, so this is just a backup, but we wanna get this all set up. We're going to run this through here, like so. And then we'll tighten this up. Make sure you snug this up. And now all we have to do is connect the bungee to our paramotor. For this bungee, what I actually did was I put a zip tie. You can actually tie this bungee that connects to the pull starter anywhere you want. But my preference is to put a really small zip tie on here, just like this. And then what I like to do is actually run it through or onto my carabiner. And I do this because now if I wanna remove this engine, because this is a quick dismount engine for the Moster, all I simply do is take it off of the carabiner and we're good to go.
So one of the things that we mentioned earlier when we were putting the trike together was that rear bracket on the bottom of the trike, and it's for a stinger system. What the stinger system is, is it's essentially a scooter wheel, but that scooter wheel on the back of the trike moves up and down as you taxi, and if it gets too far down because it always has downward pressure, it's actually going to kill the engine, and it's what we would consider a dead man switch. So the student is actually not allowed to fly until the stinger system is switched off. The whole trike's gonna go up. Stinger goes off as you just saw, you have to reset that switch, but then this is also your master on and off. If this switch is set to off, the stinger does not matter what orientation it's in in order to work. Now I'm just gonna start it and show you how it actually works. Okay, no throttle. And as you can see, all we did was lift up the wheel about six inches off the ground and the engine automatically kills itself. One thing that we have not mentioned yet is this rear cage protector. This rear cage protector fits onto the Vertigo, but it also, this particular one also fits onto the Zenit. So it actually fits both of the trikes. This rear cage protector, we use it for all of our students and it does reduce your thrust by about five to 8% or so. But with that being said, if your glider falls one time into your prop and this saves you, it already paid for the cost of the rear cage protector in and of itself. So something to highly consider, especially as a new pilot coming into the sport. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the Vertigo build video. Once again, we are happy to answer any questions that you guys have, but if uh, you want more information on the trike, you can always visit the Vertigo trike page on flyproductsusa.com.